The richest people in the world are always admired for their wealth. Everyone wants to be them. These rich people have the illusion or delusion that money can buy everything. But can it? In today's video, we'll take a look at their attempts to conquer death itself. Before we dive in, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any of our new videos. First up at number one, young blood transfusions. Yep, you heard that right. Don't know about you, but the sound of that makes my blood run cold. The rich want immortality. If you were rich and could afford anything, wouldn't you want the same? Believe it or not, there are many companies out there experimenting with young blood transfusions. You must be wondering, who are the guinea pigs? People between the ages of 16 and 25 are the main target. It is thought that filling one's veins with young blood will make organs healthier. Please, oldies, don't try this at home. Leave the kids alone. You can get all sorts of diseases from this, like HIV or hepatitis. You can also die if it's a different blood type than yours. Just don't do it, okay? Here is one example of things gone wrong. Wrong. A physician by the name of Alexander Bogdanov transfused himself with the blood of younger people back in 1924, thinking it would help him become younger. Little did he know the danger of his experiment, which ultimately cost him his life. He used the blood of a student with malaria and tuberculosis. That's not the best practice, is it? In case this all still sounds a little bit far-fetched, there has been enough progress made to prompt the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, to state that the process has no proven clinical benefits and is potentially harmful. Trials of these blood transfusions range from $9,000 to $300,000. That's a ton of money for something that might not even work. Do you know who is funding this project? None other than the billionaire who founded PayPal, Peter Thiel. Thiel has been investing in a company called Ambrosia, but he's not the only one involved. The co-founder of Google, Sergey Brin, is also on board. Then there's the co-founder of Oracle, Larry Ellison. They are all putting money into ventures that are focused on extending the human lifespan, at the very least, a much longer and healthier life. The world is in a bad enough state as it is. Imagine what it would be like if these ruthless guys lived even longer. Other companies conducting these experiments include Alkahest and the Young Blood Institute. If you're young and someone approaches you saying you're working for either of these companies, run! Number two, cryonic preservation. The super rich are investing in things like space shuttles, underground hyperloops, and looking at any possible or impossible method to increase their lifespan. One such is cryonic preservation, which is freezing the human body. Scientists are hoping that future scientific advancements may allow for the body to be resuscitated. Obsessed with living forever, you guessed it, PayPal pioneer Peter Thiel endorses cryonic preservation. He does so via his Breakout Labs Fund. Other companies involved are Alcor Life Extension Foundation, Cryonics Institute, Suspended Animation Incorporated, and Cryo Russ. Cryonic preservation isn't cheap. It costs about $90,000 to preserve the brain and $200,000 for whole body preservation. Billionaires are spending $200,000 to preserve their brains after they die. It's pretty gross if you think about it. Scientists are hoping to keep the brain alive and in the future replanting it into a robot-like human. That sounds pretty awesome. The rich are even considering freezing their pets. It would cost around $6,000 to preserve your cat or dog and $1,000 for a bird. Well, I'm sorry to say, but I don't love my bird enough to pay $1,000 for him to live forever. My dog, however, sure, I'll pay $100,000. If I had $100,000. Billionaire championing cryonics is a Canadian businessman and founder of Future Electronics, Robert Miller. He not only donates generously to the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, but he has also stated that he intends to undergo the process himself. One of the most famous people associated with cryonics is Walt Disney. Although the rumors of him being frozen after his death have been debunked, the process itself is very real. Number 3 insurance for a future apocalypse. If this sounds preposterous to you, think again. If you've seen American Horror Story Apocalypse, you'll remember well that some of the world's richest people were able to get to a safe bunker. The end of the world could happen at any time. The causes could range from the collapse of the global economy, which would lead to worldwide anarchy. Perhaps a global health situation will decimate the population. Perhaps it already is. Maybe nuclear bombs will wipe out most of humanity. If this is all starting to sound a little bit paranoid, you aren't sitting on billions. Looking at some statistics, it is estimated that upwards of 50% of Silicon Valley billionaires have some form of apocalypse insurance. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman has provided the best insight into this mentality, claiming that he had corrective eye surgery and stockpiled weapons, food, and gold coins to make sure he's ready for a disaster scenario. Someone's got a bad conscience. Notable billionaires who are involved with digital consciousness are Peter Thiel, again, and Mark Zuckerberg. No surprise there. It seems to be impossible to find a scheme to outlive the rest of us at Peter 
Peter Thiel isn't involved in. Like several of his unimaginably rich peers, he has purchased a 477-acre estate in New Zealand, worth tens of millions, which he claims is insurance against global catastrophes. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg is apparently on the same wavelength, with a 700-acre plot of land in Hawaii, just in case. While Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison has taken it a step further, buying 98% of the land on Hawaii's sixth largest island, Lanai, as well as his airline. Doesn't it make your blood boil? At the same time as destroying our planet, these people are ensuring their own nasty little lives. You'll be looking at $14 million to get yourself a secure New Zealand hideaway fit for a billionaire, or $100 million to see out the apocalypse in a luxury Hawaii estate. If there's a global collapse, it seems savvy to have gold, guns, and a place to hide. Although perhaps billionaires' money could be better spent trying to prevent all the catastrophes they're planning to hide away from or causing. Number 4. Digital Consciousness While we all know that billionaires control a substantial amount of the world's wealth, current projections see the richest people in the world will control two-thirds of it by 2030. There's the idea of merging artificial intelligence with humans to avert death. This sounds like pure science fiction, but the reality is that laboratories are looking into this. By transferring your consciousness into an artificial brain, you will continue to live even though your body dies. This all might sound bogus to you, but here's what Google's Director of Engineering, Ray Kurzweil, has to say on the subject. We're going to become increasingly non-biological to the point where the non-biological part dominates, and the biological part is not important anymore. The non-biological part, the machine part, will be so powerful it can completely model and understand the biological part. It seems like Kurzweil has already turned into a robot. Billionaires like Sam Altman are investing millions with around $14 million in funding and a $120 million federal grant from the U.S. National Institute of Mental Health. The Terrasa Movement Foundation is looking to create mindware, which would be used as part of a nanotechnological body, a robot essentially, that would allow you to live without the constraints of pesky things like diseases, death, and old age. Let's talk about the price. Just to make the waiting list, you have to pay a minimum of $100,000. This process isn't safe either. It could be 100% fatal and no successful trials have been completed. The scariest part of all of this is is that your brain still needs to be alive. Yes, guys, that means euthanasia. That's a big no for me. How about you? Number 5. Colonizing Space Since the rich practically own everything on Earth and have destroyed everything else, why not spread out? As in colonizing other planets. That's exactly what several super-rich individuals are currently doing with an ongoing billionaire space race. As well as being a smart investment where tech development is concerned and the commercial aspects netting them some big revenue, there's a clear ulterior motive of hedging bets in case our planet suffers a crisis. After all, who doesn't dream of a nice holiday home on Mars? Notable people involved are Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, Paul G. Allen, Yuri Milner, and Igor Asher Bailey. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Vulcan Aerospace, Virgin Galactic, and Breakthrough Starshot are the main candidates. SpaceX plans to charge $62 million per person to reach the International Space Station. However, if you just want a short trip to the stars, it will cost between $80,000 with Worldview Enterprises and $270,000 with Virgin Galactic. I wouldn't plan on buying a return ticket because you're probably not going to make it back. Creating a more efficient way to travel through space raises the possibility of humans colonizing other planets and mining valuable resources from asteroids. It's essentially a worst-case scenario plan B in case things don't work out here on Earth. We may be even closer to living in interstellar life than you may think. Dr. Igor Asher Bailey, a Russian billionaire and rocket scientist, is currently developing a project called Asgardia, which he envisions as the first full independent nation in space, with its government, virtual currency, justice system, and calendar. With so much wealth and pride at stake in these space projects, you can expect some rapid progress as the richest people on Earth battle it out to be the first to stake their claim to some off-world real estate. Hopefully they do succeed in their efforts and never come back to trouble us again. So the lesson here is that if you're super rich, there are plenty of investment opportunities in the immortality market. If cryonics isn't for you, why not digital consciousness? If those are a bit far-fetched, there's always an island retreat or a luxury bunker on the market. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please leave us a like and a comment down below in the comment section.